Hello, my friend. Welcome to today's video. I hope you're doing as well as possible. And it's just going to get better from here. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Anna. I'm a Reiki master practitioner. I'm a writer. And it's such an honor and a joy for me to be able to connect with you and to create these healing sessions for the collective. I do things with an ASMR style because I think when we're in a relaxed state, it really helps us to start healing ourselves. When we're tight and tense and stuck in fear and anxiety, it's very difficult for healing to begin and for this beautiful life force energy to flow and work its magic. So my intention here is to bring you to a relaxed state and then to really help you heal yourself empower you to make decisions in your life that bring about real change. So welcome. You're here in my Reiki room, on my Reiki table. And I'm going to begin with a little bit of incense to just clear the energy. I'm using some incense as usual by the Pure Incense Co. Wonderful family-owned business, not sponsored, but they're just wonderful and I'm going to order some more from them, but you should check them out if you're looking for incense. Beautiful hand-rolled incense. Really ridiculously potent, beautiful fragrances. I love this stuff. I'd be curious if any of you have ordered it just met this family at a, a yoga festival for any of you who are new um, and purchased a bunch of their incense but if you have purchased it I'd love to hear what your experience was like because I just loved it I love hearing when you are watching my videos how you like to do it, you know, are you lying in bed before you go to sleep? I know a lot of you do that. Are you listening at work? Do you listen in the morning to help you get started for the day? Obviously, I have sleep sessions, but a lot of the sessions that I have, I think, could work for that as well. So we're just going to start off by doing a little bit of clearing here. Okay, beautiful. Is there anything you're bringing into this Reiki session today that's maybe not in service of who you want to be? You know, you could say your highest self, your most aligned self. But how about your favorite self? Is there anything that you're bringing in, whether that's an energy, a mood, an emotion, whether that's thoughts? Is there any of that that's not serving your favorite self? And then if it's available to be cleared, you know, certain thoughts, once we start to recognize the impact that they're having, sometimes even when we start to recognize that they're there, and we come back to this present moment, that's when we can really really start to shift things. They just almost magically start to dissolve 
just by bringing our awareness to what it is that we're allowing ourselves to think. And our thoughts lead to our emotions. So if we're constantly thinking disempowering thoughts, we might believe certain things about ourselves, which will make us feel a certain way, will make us feel bad about ourselves, insecure. So it all starts with these thoughts. And if we can start to really tackle them before they take hold and sink their talons in, that's when we can start to have agency over the way that we're thinking, what we're believing, and how we're feeling. We all want to feel better, right? We all want to feel joyful, fulfilled, aligned, playful, spontaneous. We want to feel successful. We want to feel empowered, passionate. We want to feel love, loving, love. So we're clearing your whole energy body to start to make space, make some room. Just getting this beautiful smoke into all the nooks and crannies, all throughout your aura. So anything that's not serving your favorite self, we're just clearing it, just clearing it. Because the this, this subject here at hand the patterns that define you. And we can't get to where we want to go by continuing to do the things that are leading us in a different direction. We have to start by just doing some clearing. Doing some deep cleaning of the mind, of the body, and of the soul. And this is the beginning of a beautiful transformation. Just making space, just making some space for something new, something alive, vibrant and beautiful. <sighs> okay. And if you'd like to offer something up to be clear. Pass it into the smoke. You can say it out loud if you'd like, or to yourself. Anything you want to clear. And as long as this clearing serves that favorite self, and everyone else's highest, most loving selves, and we'll support you in clearing it. This community here is so supportive and loving and caring, and I know how wonderful you are, caring about each other and really creating a beautiful community, loving community, and I'm so grateful for that. So thank you. And you can share if you'd like, if you're open to it. I'd like to clear this, I'd like to clear that. Or just even saying, I want to make more space. I want to make more space. I want to make more space. Beautiful. I 
I take a little bit of oil here. This is a little bit of tea tree and rosemary. Focus and confidence. That's what I love to use this for. Focus and confidence. A couple of drops. Tea tree and rosemary. Very is vitally important, especially when we're shifting things. So, like I said, this session is all about the patterns that define us. And I just want to remind you that no matter where you are, it takes small steps to get to where you want to be. It really does. Most of the time, it takes small, simple steps. And you just trust in this beautiful, you know, inspired from nature event of the snowball effect. This little momentum grows and grows and compounded. It has a great impact. These tiny little snowflakes can create an avalanche. It's just small, simple shifts. You are what you do. You are what you do consistently. So really focusing on what it is that you do consistently and starting to be really honest with yourself about whether or not those things that you do consistently are serving the life that you want, the person that you want to be, are serving that favorite self. And if not, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with you. That's how we're conditioned to be, is to take the easier route, take a safer route, not take risks, you know, do things that feel good, <laughs> choosing the thing that feels good right now, instant gratification over choosing the thing that's gonna get us closer to ultimately what we want, to manifest our desires. But it is possible for that to shift. And this is your calling. This is your opportunity to do that. To shift. So if you're open to receiving the call, then I would invite you to set an intention for your dream self, your favorite self, what you want. And as we set this intention on this white pillar candle, symbol of purity, new beginnings, then we're going to make a packet here together. That we're going to take steps that only lead in that direction. Okay. We're just going to take the small, simple steps that lead toward that 
desired self. So I'm going to bring this flame closer so you can really gaze into the fire, connect with that powerful element, connect with yourself, with the fire within you, find that beautiful resonance within, and then draw it out, draw it out. Okay, my love. So here we are, gaze into this flame, gaze into this flame. Get really clear about what it is that you want, my love. What it is that you want your life to look like. Feel free to pause here and just, you know, really think about it. Look into the flame and really think about what it is that you want. What you want to call in. It's so important to know yourself in that way. So many of us don't even feel empowered enough to ask or even look at what we might want. So I'm just giving you that permission here, okay? I'm going to use my little owl rattle and we're going to shake up the energy. So we've done some clearing. We've set our intention. And now we're going to shake it up. So now, your energy body is ready for something new. You're clear, you're cleansed. Now there's vibration happening. You're ready for something different. You're ready for something new. So we're going to start to fill you with that new energy. And I want to begin with this rainbow fluorite for focus helping you to focus on what it is that you truly desire. It's a beautiful stone, green and purple, blue, some rainbow fluorites, yellow in them. It's a great stone for clarity and focus. And there's a balance between mind, expression, and intuition in this stone. Fluorite, like pyrite, celestite is a cubic stone. So it has these very distinct patterns in it. It's beautiful, consistent, you know, and you can have that same steadfast, consistent energy the focus and the clarity to go after what it is that you want. So we're just filling you up with this. And if you are somebody who is an artist, who, you know, feels like your inspiration comes, it goes, and you have to flow with it, 
that's okay. It's just, it's about setting up a system for yourself where you have a pattern that's moving you in the direction of what you want. So you can follow your inspiration and you can follow that, but you also have this foundation of this strong, steady routine. It's steadfast as a river, it flows. It's always flowing in the same direction. You know that when you get on a boat and start to paddle on this river, you will be taken off in the same direction every time. And let's say the current and flow of that river, how fast you get to where you want to go, is based on how much you focus on where it is that you want to head of that intention that you set. How much you believe in your worthiness. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I'm gonna place this right here on your heart space because this is really about moving from your heart. We're moving from love. We're shifting and developing new systems in our lives because we love ourselves too much to do things that aren't serving ourselves. And we're remaining grateful for all of the gifts that we have, amplifying those, and then getting really honest with ourselves about what it is that we are yearning for, what are our deepest heart's desires, and then empowering those desires. I haven't used this stone in a while, I don't think. This is a spiderweb jasper. And this is a great one for seeing more clearly, parsing through the cobwebs, really seeing what it is that you want, connecting to your intuition. So I'm gonna place this right on your third eye here, my darling, so that you feel confident that you're following your intuition so that you feel guided, connected. Because it's that guide, your internal guide, that has to be there to help you with all of the things that are going to come up because there are going to be a lot of obstacles. This is just natural, especially when we're shifting, moving and shifting. These obstacles might come in the way of someone trying to convince you to stay small, not to take those steps. It's because they're afraid that you'll be taking steps that lead you away from them. So it's okay, but don't, uh, don't be put off or deterred because there are obstacles that's just part of the path. And now I'm going to use the septarian. I'm going to call this in to help you set boundaries and create a very structured approach to these shifts. So with all of these little shifts, and, and by all, I mean, I want you to start with like two or three shifts, developing a really healthy, beautiful, aligned morning routine sitting with yourself for two minutes maybe and doing a meditation, reading or listening to something positive, saying certain affirmations to yourself. You can start with just starting a morning routine and then getting some movement in the day, walking for 10, 20, 30 minutes, dancing, doing something, but getting movement every single day 
deliberate movement, intentional movement every single day. This could be dedicating 10, 20, 30 minutes to your goal, your dream, whether that's you want to write a book. And so you're saying, okay, I'm going to dedicate 10, 20, 30 minutes. Even if I have no ideas at all, I'll just sit and stare at the cursor blinking (laughs) for 10, 20, 30 minutes. But every day I'm going to write. Every day I'm going to write. If you're a painter, even if you're not inspired that day, maybe today you're going to paint. Just paint. Work on a skill. Maybe try something new. And every day you're going to read. You're going to read something new. Every day you're going to uh, be more loving and connected with those in your life. You're going to ask people that you're close to how they're doing. You're going to dedicate time to really sit down and not multitask while you're talking to the person or people that you love. But really sit down and listen and ask questions about them and their lives. So just pick a few of these. There are so many that we could talk about. But just pick a few little things that you're going to start to shift. And then it'll be that snowball effect. And it'll just start shifting and everything will build momentum. And slowly things will start shifting and moving. So putting that Sectarian in there just to help you build boundaries around what it is that you want. It's like we were talking about before, if any of those nagging voices start to come in and they're starting to infiltrate and they might start to even have those talents that are trying to sink in, things like, why are you doing that? Why are you shifting this? What's going on? Oh, you're, you know, like Brene Brown talks about how there are two different kind of forms of that negative inner critic that can take over when you're being vulnerable or putting yourself out there trying something new. You're not good enough. And who do you think you are? That's how our shame voice starts to speak to us. So if there are people in your life who, because of their own fear, they're starting to say these things, plant these little seeds of doubt or shame, maybe not using that exact verbiage, but giving you this idea that you're not enough or that you're arrogant and how dare you... (laughs) If it's taking on either of those, not good enough, who do you think you are? Start to set boundaries around what it is that you're going to believe, what you're going to take in, recognizing that that's not true, recognizing that that's just someone else's insecurity, someone else's fear, and maybe even start setting some boundaries around that person, how much time you spend with them. Maybe start to set boundaries around how much you're going to take. Start saying, maybe pushing back a little. I don't, I don't agree with that. I think I can do this. This is something I'm excited about and I'd love your support. I'm going to do this and I'd love for you to, to help me or be with me or I'd love for you to be there by my side, whatever it is. Boundaries are beautiful and important. They help us to be kinder, more compassionate and understanding. I'm just going to do a little bit of gentle pulling and plucking just in case that brought up anything for you. We're just going to kind of clear that with the selenite tower. Beautiful selenite tower. Very lunar energy. So pulling any of that out. Casting it into the Pulling it out, casting it into the flame, pulling it out, and casting it into the flame. I feel like your energy is feeling really good today. Do you feel like things are shifting? It feels really good. Good. Okay. One more.
placing my hand just outside of your hips. I want to send this really beautiful, supportive energy into your root. So taking all of this energy, everything that's flowing for you right now, and grounding it. Creating a beautiful foundation upon which you can build all of this. All these shifts, these new decisions, deciding. That's such an empowering thing to do is to decide that we want something different and then decide what we're going to do together. Those little decisions. Pulling that energy up into the sacral, low belly. And here, connecting with creativity, you are a beautiful brilliant force and you have the power to create beautiful dynamic change in yourself and in the world connecting you to your creativity to your creation Building this energy up and moving into the solar plexus. This is a tough one. It's all about believing in yourself. Believing that you're worthy. Believing that you can do it. Believing that you can shift. beautiful thing when you can own your power and sit comfortably in your power. Now to the heart space. Amplify those things for which you are grateful. Make more space for more of that. Trust that you have a be- beautiful things to share with the world and that the world deserves to receive it. That you have so much love and hope and joy to share and spread with the world in whatever way. I'm going to tuck my hand underneath your back here. going to now hover my hand outside of the heart space. So one hand is behind your back and the other is hovering outside of your heart space. And I'm just ping-ponging this energy back and forth between my palms. Just creating so much space here in the heart for expansion and growth. So much more fulfillment, joy, love, compassion, kindness. So much more room for all of that. There's so much more of that flowing towards you. Making these shifts, making more room, being intentional. Now 
down the throat. And we talked about the world deserves to hear your message, hear what you have to share with the world. Oh, you are so deserving of expressing yourself. Getting it out there. Getting it out there. So, I'm just going to hover my hands up. I'm going to come around back and I'll do your third eye and your crown just from behind you. Place my hands just over your eyes, okay? Just breathe. All of this momentum that's moved up through your body. now swirling around in your third eye. It's helping you make more space for your intuition. To have more clarity. More focus. More connection. Inviting some fluttery fingers around your head. Beautiful. All around. And now on the crown, placing my hands on the very crown of your head. opening some space to connect with the divine. Connecting with beautiful divine energy. Allowing source energy to flow in. So you might have just moments of inspiration might start to wake up in the middle of the night, just filled with idea. You might find stores of energy that you didn't know you had, like a treasure trove. Nice and balanced. Nice and aligned. I have this bouquet. It's not really a bouquet, it's just a few flowers I just picked right before filming. Just a few flowers that I picked right before filming. Oh, 
These are dahlias. This is a Thomas Edison. And these, these are Cornell Bronze. to show you just this pattern. Nature has this incredible way of just developing patterns. Look at that pattern. When you look at a flower or you at a crystal, or you look at a pine cone, you just start to recognize that this pattern here, the way that all of these petals form, this is what makes this dahlia, this dahlia. It's this pattern. Slowly the petals form and they expand as it blooms. It's just such a great display of that pattern. And when we can start to recognize that it's each little petal forming, it's each little petal following the next, that's what defines this flower. That's what makes it this flower. And our little steps that we take every day, those patterns define us. So it's really about how do we want to be defined? and then starting to develop patterns that support that. Just one tiny step after another. So we're just going to fill you with the energy of this flower. Um, we've had kind of a, a later autumn, I guess it cold, but it's, we still have flowers blooming and dahlias are, you know, from Central America, so they're very, they like hot weather, they're not used to the cold. So the fact that we're still getting flowers right now is just such a joy to me. So I want to send this energy towards you, recognizing that there's beauty in this process. It doesn't have to be boring doesn't have to be uninspiring. Sometimes patterns are the most inspiring, beautiful creations. Patterns create so much beauty, rather. And then I want to, I'm gonna place this here. And then I'll show you the pattern here in this Cornell bronze. Very different, and that's what makes this flower, this flower. But look, it's hard to deny the power of that pattern. I want to show you, but I don't want it to get shaky, but here you go. It's beautiful. It's a very potent energy. So filling you up, filling you up with the beauty of these patterns and helping you to recognize that 
They can be fascinating. Each of them are unique. That we really are divined, defined by those little things. By the patterns that we have in our lives. What we choose to do. Those decisions. so velvety. <laughs> so velvety and soft. Lighter than paper. You can really see these as kind of one step at a time. So sending that love towards you and see if you can just maybe breathe it in. Fill yourself up with that gorgeous loving energy. Imagine the aroma just swirling in 
and flowing all through your body. Which can be directed and channeled with laser-like precision to help you accomplish tasks and achieve objectives. Cool. This is going to be a really powerful time for you. Two super empowering cards. You have this fiery energy and you have like the earth and the roots. The roots and the ancestors. It's like star and earth and fire. Find as comfortable a position as you can. Maybe close your eyes. You could lie down. Whatever feels right for you. And let's begin today with gratitude. Whatever position you find yourself in, bring to heart one thing for which you are grateful. 